everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making su yuk. It's a boiled pork belly and it's absolutely delicious. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. These are the only ingredients that you guys need to make this recipe. It's going to go super fast because it's super simple and I love sharing the easiest recipes with you guys. And notice I did put a very large pot. Trust me on this one, go with me on this one. Just large pot or you're going to have a huge mess on top of your stove. All right, to begin, we have our very thick slices of pork belly. I bought mine at Costco. There are six in a pack in my package and I used three of those six to make this in one large pot. Use a pot larger than this if you can see my pot here and where the water line is. No, you're going to want to go bigger. So trust me on this part. So we've got our three large pork belly in and I already did turn on my stove. So I'm going to start adding all of my ingredients in while the stove is on because it's going to go fast. All right, from this point on, after we put our three large thick slices of our pork belly right into our very large pot, I am using three tablespoons of the soy bean paste. And these are three large heaping tablespoons. This is not an exact measurement, but you know when people use regular spoons and they throw things in, you kind of get thrown off a little bit. So I'm using a tablespoon here to show you guys about how much of the tablespoon and the heaping amount that I am throwing right into the pot. Again, there's three scoops of this right in there. And it was difficult to try to just pop it in there, so I did have to use a spoon to help me out in this area. After you've done that, let's grab our ginger. I am using a two inch ginger, and I just cut that right into half after I peeled it off a little bit on the edge because we don't want that in there. Just pop those right into the pot. Now let's scoop one tablespoon of coffee grounds right into the pot. Any brand will do. It doesn't matter what kind it is, just as long as it's not one of those instant coffees. So make sure it's the one that you would actually put inside of a coffee maker. Now let's grab one half of a very large onion. If you guys don't have a large onion, just use one small whole entire onion. Just cut that in half and throw it in on both sides. This is plum syrup. Some people make it at home. We do have some here at our house, but I am using the store brand just so you guys can see what it is if, in case you guys don't have this at home already. It is plum syrup. We're just going to use a quarter cup of that and just throw that right into our pot. Now you're going to need one quarter cup of whole peppercorn. Do not try to grind your pepper right into your pot. That'd be way too much work. So just grab the whole peppercorn and throw that right into your pot. Now here's something you guys might not all have in your refrigerator, but it is two tablespoons worth of seochuk, which is salted shrimp. They're these tiny little shrimps that's been pre-salted pre or preserved from the fisher boat or something is what I read. But there is no substitution for this. I am not gonna substitute this recipe because I did get this recipe from my father-in-law. And this right here is just perfect the way it is. So all we're gonna do now is kind of mix it up a little bit and then we're gonna wait until the water boils. And once the water boils, we're gonna cover it with a lid. So just keep this on the stove top until you see the water boiling and you'll see what happens next. But again, see how the water is lined around my pot? You're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to use a larger pot than what I've been using. All right, you guys see the water starting to boil? See the little bubbles popping up? Once you've seen this, go ahead and cover it on high heat, boiling it for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes on high heat and see how it's boiling. We've got that at a good boil. Go ahead and cover it up and set it to medium for another 20 minutes covered as well. Another 20 minutes has passed and all we're gonna do now is turn our stove off, keep the lid on it, and just keep it covered for another 10 minutes. All right, so our meat's been resting in our pot with the stove off, covered for 10 minutes. And this is how it looks after the 10 minutes is up. So all we're gonna need to do is pull these out very carefully because it is going to be very hot. I am going to put a colander right on top of my lid and pop it right out with a pair of tongs. And then what we're gonna do is just rinse it all off. Go ahead and run it under some cold water, rinsing off everything you possibly can. If it doesn't come off, don't worry too much about it. It's okay to have it all 
pepper flakes that might get stuck on there are some coffee grounds but clean it up as much as you can and set it aside to let it cool off because it's going to still be very hot to touch and you don't want to hurt yourself when you're trying to cut it all into slices. While our pork belly is cooling off, I'm just going to go ahead and clean my kitchen and just let it sit there and rest for a little while. Once your pork belly has cooled off to touch, go ahead and cut these up into thin slices. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to let you guys enjoy a little bit of my husband's ASMR. Slice one of these up. Taste them. I'm gonna keep all that in the video. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> Hi, this is ASMR. Slicing up pork. Pork belly. Pork belly. Strawberries. Can I have one? I'd like to taste. Taste! Oh, damn, that's good. I found the ending of that really funny, so I wanted to share it with you all. So if you guys stuck around this far, I hope you guys had a nice little laugh, too. Once you're done slicing everything up, go ahead and plate it. Throw some lettuce underneath it to make it nice and pretty. Otherwise, just throw it on top of a plate. Enjoy it with your favorite side dishes, whatever dipping sauce it is that you would like, if you prefer that. I didn't think I needed any bit of that. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it, and until the next meal, thank you again for watching, watch me cook!